to Stocks Review. Click the subscribe button for more up-to-date short stocks review. This stock review is only for entertainment purposes and not financial advice. Today we are going to take a look at Intel stock. Stock ticker symbol INTC. It is headquartered in the United States and service regions all around the world. It has a market cap of $192 billion and is considered a large cap company. It is in the information technology sector and semiconductor industry. In short, it is a major chip maker located in the United States. Its price has been quite stagnant recently. It has a five-year total return of 48% and lays the performance of the SPY. It has a revenue growth five-year compound annual growth rate of 5.9% and has a net income five-year compound annual growth rate of 14%. It has been buying back some shares with shares outstanding decreasing about 3% annually in the recent five years. It has a dividend of 3.1% and has been growing at a rate of 6% recently. Intel has a 37-year total return of 12,368% with a 37-year compound annual growth rate of 13.9%. If you had $1,000 invested 37 years ago, you would have $123,680 now. Currently, the price is at around 47 with a 52-week high at 68 and 52-week low at 43. It has a P-E ratio of 9.7 and forward P-E ratio of 13.7. It has a cash position of $4.8 billion and long-term liabilities of around $45.5 billion. Intel is considered a wide-mode company according to Morningstar's rating. Now, about the future projection. Currently the margin is 25.1% and future margin after 5 years is expected to be 24.1%. It has a revenue growth forecast 5-year compound annual growth rate of 6% and EPS growth forecast 5-year compound annual growth rate of 10.3%. Then, we review the valuation. Currently, the 10-year Treasury yield is around 2.71 and the return yield of S&P 500 companies at around 10%. S&P 500 companies have an average forward PE around 20 now. Intel has a dividend plus 10-year growth forecast plus shares buyback yield at 13.6% and a forward PE around 13.7. In summary, Intel is a large cap stable company with slight growth and wide moat, and probably undervalued now. If Intel is able to deliver more growth than estimated, it may be a very good buy now. Now that's a short review for Intel stock, click the subscribe button for more up to date short stocks review. If you like our content, leave us a comment and click the like button to give us some support, we hope to see you next time.